everyone, Tim Schofield here. And it's been a while since I've covered a Dell laptop on the channel. And it's time to take a look at the new Dell XPS 14. I'm pretty excited to check out their design of their laptop. Plus it includes the Intel Core Ultra 7 processor. Maybe I'll connect it to this pretty sweet uh, Dell monitor behind me. Now let's take a look at what comes in the box. Thanks to Dell for sending this over. Let's get started. Here is the XPS 14. They also have an XPS 16 model if you're looking for a larger display. Welcome to Dell. Let's see what else we get. Standard booklets. Looks like we also have our charger here, which comes with a separate cable to plug into the wall outlet. Charging brick isn't all that big. It does have a USB type C cable attached to it. And here are some specs at 100 watts of charging. Finally, in the box, you get this little Dell labeled adapter. Taking the plastic off, really nice that this is included. You don't always see that. It is a USB type C adapter, it has that attached cable, so it's really easy to transport and turns it into a USB type A slot and an HDMI port as well. Actually a really handy adapter and not too big. And onto what you came to see, that XPS 14 from Dell. As we do in all of my laptop videos, let's do the one-handed opening test. Uh, and to start it off, here we go. And it opened with ease with one hand. It did not move at all from the bottom. So that's great to see. It is turning on. There's a piece of paper here that we can peel off. And look at how sleek that is. No trackpad, you say, eh? <laughs> now we'll check that out in just a second, but while it boots up, let's take a closer look at this hardware. This is a really sleek looking laptop. On the left side, you've got two Thunderbolt 4 USB Type-C ports, and right here, very interesting. Uh, so you've got a eight watt quad speaker system. So this is a speaker in this slot, but these two slots are actually thermal intake. So they aren't at the bottom. Uh, so since they're on the side, if you do set it on a desk, maybe set it on a bed or for whatever reason, you still can get uh, some thermal intake. So Dell was very conscious about thermals on this laptop. I did close the lid so you can see how thick the laptop actually is. There's two microphones here at the top of that lid and then moving along, same, same thing on this side, speaker, two thermal intakes, and then you've got a micro SD card slot. So some expandable storage and another Thunderbolt 4, 4 USB Type-C port and a headphone jack. Now you have that thermal intake on the side and the heat will come out the back here. So just to give you an idea of how their thermal system works. So a look at the bottom, you've got a full grip running along both the top and bottom of the laptop. And again, it is curved. So these aren't on the actual bottom. So it will sit raised up as well, sleek XPS logo. I do wanna point out that there is no notch with the lid closed. So like I showed earlier, when you do go to open with one hand, it's a little bit challenging to find that specific slot to open it up. But once you do, you'll see it turns on right away. Inside, you've got the Core Ultra 7155H processor from Intel. And just a quick close up, there is another one of the speakers. So there's the third speaker, which is pointing towards you. Uh, a look at that very uniform looking keyboard and our other speaker. You also notice the function row up here is actually capacitive touch buttons and there's a reason for that. So you'll notice that the chassis is raised above the keyboard where the capacitive touch buttons are so there's more space. And this is for their cooling system. So again, very thoughtful with their cooling. And you'll notice again, no trackpad down here. This actually has Gorilla Glass uh, on the surface and it has haptic feedback, which, you know, it does remind me of a MacBook, which is not a bad thing at all. It's actually a very good thing. A couple other noteworthy things, Copilot button and this button right here, which is a fingerprint scanner power button. Just a quick moment to appreciate this really sleek designed laptop from Dell. Definitely hats off with this one. So let's take a close look at that gorgeous 14 and a half inch Infinity Edge display. This is a 3200 by 2000 resolution, so 3.2K, not quite 4K, but it's getting close. It's an OLED display. However, they do have a model with a, a lower resolution if interested. You get 100% of the DCI-P3 color gamut. Like with most laptops, it's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio where you'll notice the 16.9 video has black bars. That's very standard and what I am looking for in a laptop. 
In case you're wondering, yes, this is a touch screen display, which is really great to have. And I can already tell by scrolling that it's enabled by default. It is a 120 hertz refresh rate display. Uh, it looks very smooth. So if I go to advanced display, you'll notice choose a refresh rate. You can choose 120 hertz, 60 hertz or dynamic. So it'll uh, change depending on the type of content shown. And here is a great example of the co-pilot button. What is refresh rate? Let's just do a quick search where I don't need to open up a browser or anything. And it says refresh rate is how often your screen can display an image per second and it's measured in Hertz. So you can read through that if you'd like to, but really nice to have for just quick queries. A quick note, this laptop has Windows Hello support with that fingerprint scanner, but also facial recognition. Let's set that up because there's actually a really cool feature with this Windows Hello. Okay, so keep looking at the camera. I'm somewhat in frame, I'm moving, and it still is do is working, so I don't have to keep it still. Uh, you most likely will have to, but anyways, a couple more things. Also, you can automatically dismiss the lock screen if Windows recognizes your face, that's just an option. So this brings us to the My Dell app where you can customize and set up a lot of different things, but for now, I wanna talk about presence detection. So it can detect when you look away, so it will dim the display, and save power, walk away lock. We're gonna turn this on. Uh, set lock timer, 60 seconds, we're gonna do 30 seconds, and then wake on approach. When you uh, approach, it can actually wake your PC. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk away for 30, I'm gonna count to 30 and I'll come back. So I'll obviously speed this up. So I'm walking away now. Okay, hopefully my microphone stayed connected. I walked away, I'm coming back, I'm here now. Oh my gosh, look at that. And boom, my face gets recognized. That was awesome. Cool, cool feature. We'll touch on some more of these software features in just a second, but now I wanna switch back to the hardware. So first of all, this touchpad, uh, you'll notice there's no lights or really any indication of where it starts. You can just sort of reach towards the middle and it's comfortable. I don't necessarily need any guidance or feedback. Let's see if you can hear this, if the mic can pick it up. Okay, so hopefully it picked that up and just some really nice feedback, which you can customize. So if we do go into settings, the intensity, okay, you can turn it down to zero or all the way up to 100. And 100 is too strong for my liking. I actually really liked it at 50. So I'm just going to keep it at that. You can have three, four finger gestures and your taps as well. Uh, so tap with two fingers is your right click, tap twice to drag and multi-select. So a lot of nice little shortcuts and gestures. As always, a quick typing test. Before that, I wanna point out that the texture on the keyboard is a little grippier than most laptops that I use. It's kind of a nice soft touch feel with a little bit of grip, but let's do a quick audio test. So overall, very uniform. It's one millimeter of travel distance. So I'd say overall, not my absolute favorite, but not my least favorite by any means. I do love the style and it is comfortable to type on. It's time, let's plug our XPS 14 into our Dell UltraSharp 40 curved Thunderbolt monitor via just one cable. It will charge the laptop, but also do video out as well. And keep in mind, this is a 5K resolution display. All right, here it is. This is as good as it's gonna get. No, I'm just kidding. Let's go into display settings and make sure we take full advantage. It's on duplicate. So if we show on one or two or let's extend the displays and we can start taking advantage of that ultra wide resolution. Looks incredible. If we bring our video on over to the monitor, let's hit play. Let's actually turn that audio off and go full screen. This isn't an ultra wide video, but just look. And then if I go back, I can now control this display here. So again, really nice via one cable plus. I've been using this monitor for a while. Highly, highly recommend. And let's press our escape key on the capacitive touch bar, which is kind of interesting, actually. I haven't decided if I really like it. I like it for the thermal reason that they use it for. Um, you're going to have to sort of look before you press. It's not going to be a muscle memory type of thing because there's no clear indication and difference. Let's go back to that My Dell app and talk about a couple things. First of all, color and display. So there are color profiles that you can add and customize on your own. Brightness, contrast, black, level, temperature, gamma. Uh, now, this is also where you can do it. Internet, cinema, HD video, photo, vibrant. So there are presets that you have. And then also Dolby Vision. 
optimized for your environment. Bright, vivid, dark. Now on to sound and audio with those speakers. Again, same thing, a lot of ways to customize it with an equalizer, depending on the type of music you're listening to. You can load presets. There's 3D audio as well. And moving on over voice quality, you can remove background noise out of the microphone and remove others background noise as well, which is kind of cool. Finally, you can boost and prioritize your network speed. Anyways, that is everything I wanted to talk about for now on the XPS 14 from Dell. Really impressed, honestly. This is such a sleek looking laptop. And again, you have that power to go with it with that Intel processor. Anyways, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. I will link to everything down in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching.